This video will show you how to place the 100x objective, oil objective, on this microscope, the IX81. Uh, this is the objective that you should use if you're doing wide field deconvolution to look at subcellular structures with this microscope. Uh, the objective is very, very expensive, so you need to be very careful when you're putting it on the microscope. The objective is always in this box. You can see here on the side, it sees uh, UPO SAPO 100X PSF. Inside the box, there's a small bag. Inside the bag, there's a uh, sort of holder for it. Um, the objective is screwed on to the base of this, to this black thing, so we can hold the black part and then unscrew the top to have access to the objective. And then we can hold the objective and unscrew the bottom when we're ready to put it on the microscope. So again, we have to be very careful with this objective. It's very expensive uh, and there's no replacement. If that breaks, uh, we're out of luck. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the microscope. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna go to the 100X or 60X position. We typically want to remove this to give ourselves more room to put on that objective. And then what we're going to do is remove the objective from this and screw it on to this position here. So here you can see the objective. I'm going to unscrew it from the base. I like to do that by holding the objective and then unscrewing the base rather than by holding the base and unscrewing the objective. So I have a firm grip on the expensive thing, which is the objective. Okay, so now I have the objective. And what I'm going to do is place it in this hole here and screw it in very gently. So I've placed it in there. There we go. Now, when I put the stage on, I want to make sure that this is far away from here, so I'm going to click on Escape on the microscope. That lowers the objective, and now I'm going to very gently put this in without banging into the objective. All right, and then if I hit Escape, it'll go back up. If you don't know where the last person had put this, just lower the objective by clicking on Course and moving it down to make sure that when you put on a sample, it's far away and won't crash into it. So let me show you how to oil the objective and put on a sample. So there's Olympus oil uh, on the table next to the microscope, and you're also going to need a Kim wipe. And the reason you'll need a Kim wipe is this oil dispenser has this little tip, which is convenient for accessing uh, areas that um, may not be so easy to get to. But the problem is uh, this oil tip uh, has a tendency to form bubbles, so you'll have to make sure that you remove any bubbles when you apply it. So if you look here, if you gently press, this is the part where you need to check the tip and make sure that there are no bubbles. If there aren't any bubbles, uh, you can go direct to the objective. If they are, you would wipe them off here. In this case, they weren't, but I just wanted to show you what the wiping off would look like. So this is ready. Uh, I'm gonna go to another angle because it's a little bit hard for me to do it from there. Um, so you'll see here, Just put on a small drop. There we go. And that's it. You can then recap this. So now we're ready to put on the sample. So when we put on the sample, we want to hit escape. Put it on. Always carefully. Um, then hit escape again. And the objective should go up. And if it touches it, uh, you'll see the oil slick touch the sample. If it doesn't, you'll need to raise the sample until the oil touches, which is what I'm doing right now. And so then you can see when it touches, there's a very clear oil slick. And if you move the focus knob towards you to move the objective up, the oil slick will expand. If you move it down, it will contract. So that gives you a sense of what direction you're moving in. Usually I just let it barely touch the oil uh, so that I know that when I'm imaging, I have to go up to see something. 
So now this is ready uh, to, to take images. So now that the imaging is complete, let me show you how to safely remove the sample, clean the objective, remove it, and store it. So as always, the first thing we need to do is to press the escape key to move the objective away from the sample and carefully remove the sample. So the next step is we need to clean the objective. So to do that, we're gonna get lens paper, fold it, and gently wipe across the objective's face. Next, we're going to use lens paper, and you can use ethanol or 70% ethanol. Uh, I've discovered that the 70% works a little bit better, so uh, we'll use that. We'll just go get some. I'm going to put a little bit on it like this, and then swipe across like that. You don't want to do this because if there's a little piece of dust or, or dirt by doing this we'll, we'll scratch the entire objective as opposed to swiping it once where we'll cause less damage so it's just a safety measure to always just swipe once like that instead of doing this okay all right so the objective is nice and clean then I'm gonna grab this which is the base on which I'm going to place the objective remove it by gently unscrewing it. Again, you want to be very careful. This is a very expensive piece of equipment. And I'm going to screw it here. So I like holding the objective and screwing the other thing, plastic base. Then I hold the objective and now I'm going to put the lid on. And you can do this on the table. I just uh, wanted to show you here. And then this will go in the baggie and in turn in the box. And that's it. Uh, so that's how you use the 100X objective on the iX81.